As of recently, this is what has been trending on YouTube. You got 20 women versus. What's up, baby? How you doing? I'm good, to you? I like your outfit with your little gold curtains. Uh, Hi. How are you? Hi, how you doing? I'm Hoochie. I was wondering if you wanted to come to the back later and help me with my groceries. Let me get a little 360 real quick. Look at you like that. I'm gonna politely pass though, you know. No, no, no. Let me tell you what we're not doing in 2024. We are not basing our self-esteem and confidence on a man. We are not basing our self-esteem and confidence on social media, on academic success, family, anything external from us. We are not basing our confidence on anybody else but ourselves. What are we doing? Wake up. I'm gonna show you how to seek validation from yourself. So thank you for clicking this video and keep watching. The first thing we have to establish is why you don't validate yourself. Is it the pressures of society? Is it your culture? Is it your family structure? Is it how you were raised? Write these things down. I went through the same things like wanting to fit in, wanting to be a part of this whole quote unquote groupy culture. Then I realized I can't be a part of the world and be a follower of Jesus Christ. The first question is, why are you seeking this external validation? Do you feel like it's making you feel good about yourself? Or do you just need the attention from social media? Are you needing attention from other people? Are you putting your expectations and your self-esteem and confidence in other people because if that's how you were raised or that's how you grew up, whatever why, why you seek this validation elsewhere by yourself, you need to write that down because we need to get to the root problem. Who? Okay, second is who. Who is very important. Who are you seeking the validation from? Are you getting the validation from an app? Are you getting the validation from guys? Are you getting validation from social media? Are you getting validation from your friends and your family? And then when they don't fulfill your expectations, you're crushed. Who are you seeking that? And you need to put as well, these people. Who are you seeking it from? And once you realize why you're seeking this, this validation, who you're seeking this validation from, we have just solved the root problem. Why you're doing this and who are you seeking it from? From there, we can establish, does this match your future? Does this match your goals? Who you want to be with? Who you want to start a family with? Clear as day, if it doesn't match, you have to stop. And when you realize that the same men the validation or the friends or the family is not aligning with your higher self, is not aligning with the woman that you would look up to, is not aligning to who you want to be in the future. Validation starts here and establishing why we're seeking validation. For example, why people seek validation is because they feel like they never got enough attention at home. Their parents never cared about them. They feel like they never got enough time with their parents. They never felt important. That's another thing. A lot of people seek validation because they don't feel significant. So you need to learn your why, who you're targeting. It could be men, your friends, or your family. Seeking for acceptance, yearning for acceptance. And the solution, to yearning for acceptance is just to see things for the way that they are. Just just to relax off of the tips and just, just life for a bit. Just to know, like I want you to know that this is so common. So common, especially with our generation and earlier. Like if you're a 2000s baby, you know this is common because of social media. We grew from Facebook, we grew from Instagram, all the way to what we have nowadays. And just because you find validation and other things, just know it does not make you less of a human being. It does not make you less of any person who is confident and sure of themselves. Because I'm gonna tell you this, from a confident and sure of myself, I still have days where I get insecure or I'm having negative self thoughts, but I just have to catch myself. That's only the difference. The difference is that I don't entertain them thoughts. I don't dwell on them thoughts. I move on and I find positive thoughts to, to fill those. This is normal, especially with technology nowadays. So now that we know that this is normal, we have our why, we have our who, next we're gonna go into just getting so focused on ourselves. We're gonna get focused on ourselves. Learn new hobby, intrinsic motivation. We're gonna look internal. You girls need to look internal and stop looking at external. Beauty fades. What do you love? 
What do you truly love doing? What do you have compassion for? What do you have a passion for? Do you even like what you're doing? Focus on yourself so hard. You don't care about what these people say about you because you know what what you say about you. We are no longer putting our self-esteem, putting our confidence into the people who do not, number one, value us. We are no longer putting our self-esteem into people who fill our heads with self-doubt, negativity, who truly do not want to help us. But when a man sees a woman that's covered up on her self-improvement path, that just lights a fire inside of him. You put your life in your control. Stop letting the outside opinions affect your life, affect what you're wearing, affect who you're dating, affect what choices you're making in your life, and you just do you. You just do you. Your life will go so much smoother. I promise you, girl. I promise you. It's gonna be intense. It's gonna be a little bit shaky. It's gonna be a little bit rocky. You're gonna figure it out. You're gonna figure it out. Because you're the girl that figures it out. Get so hard on your self-improvement, girl. Like when I used to like seek self my self-esteem from outer things, the things that obviously doesn't didn't serve a purpose, you know, zoned in on self-love practicing self-care and i just got so focused on my goals like how do i need to get stability in my life financial stability what can i do to further my education how can i learn more how can i do this how can i do that just literally just getting my getting after my goals because while you're also seeking validating the attention and all that different stuff you're forgetting that you still have a life. You still have things that's going on. And that these people are not checking your boxes to get these goals accomplished. It's time to focus on you. It's time to get in the isolation mode and just really zone in on you. Because when you zone in on you and you love yourself and you get to the point where you're like, I accomplished my goals. I did that. I don't need these people to tell me I did a good job or not did a good job because I know that I did a good job. You're gonna get to the point where you have the mindset of I don't care. There's this book right here that I have that I advise every person, every girl who has who struggles with seeking validation externally. Get this book, The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Blank. When I tell you that book had me on like a mm -mm. Like, I'm all about me. As soon as I got that book, I started taking ashwagandha. Girl, you couldn't tell me I wasn't zoned into me. Get in tune with yourself. Find yourself, ask yourself, what do you really love about yourself? What do you want to do? What kind of classes do you want to take? What new hobbies do you want to do? What type of exercises do you want to do? What foods do you like? Let's cook this food. Let's make this food. Let's bake this food. Let's organize. Let's declutter. Let's get rid of all of the things in my room or get rid of all the things in my house that don't serve a purpose in the end it was you it was you that always knew that you could do it and that when you get in tune with yourself you will learn that you just getting better and better and better and using that motivation that is what serves your validation your purpose we're gonna get into after we have zoned in into ourselves and we just have this mindset of tunnel vision and we're just like okay i am all about me i am doing me just me i am doing me we are going to we are going to set boundaries or we're going to cut people off who don't make us feel good boundaries we are no longer going to be around people who don't make us feel good i don't care if that's unfollowing people blocking people digital detox Decreasing them in your life will be will do you so good. That only will make you more focused on you and not focused on the drama, the negativity. We don't need no negativity right now. If you aren't here to uplift me, if you aren't here to help me prevail, if you aren't, if we aren't both exchanging not knowledge, if we aren't both reciprocating energy, good energy, positive energy, if we aren't just helping elevate one another, why are we? wasting each other time exactly that is what we're doing so we're going to set boundaries and cut these people off if these people do not like the boundaries we're going to cut them off and you know i do not mind that people even family members are in your lives to put you down that is the enemy that is the enemy and during this time anytime we don't need people who are dragging us back to square one absolutely not getting spiritual like i realized jesus said 
Put me first and I'll supply all your needs. And he definitely did. He definitely did. He helped me get my purpose. He helped me solve all my goals. He helped, he helped me get rid of self-esteem issues. He helped, me, he helped me get rid of confidence issues. Now I walk proud. I walk with confidence and just happiness and just, you know, I don't mind. I used to always hate complimenting others. I don't mind complimenting others. If that's, if that, whatever you have on, I smell the fragrance. I'm like, oh my God, girl, that smells so good. Or whatever, you know, like if the person is dressing nice, oh my God, girl, your dress looks so cute. Because guess what? I'm not hating. I'm not mad. I am happy. And I do not have a problem with telling other people that they look good. But before I did, because deep down inside, I just was insecure but i start serving something that was bigger than me i start serving a god that put me here for a reason to help help other girls to help other women that had the exact same struggles that i went through and i had I, identity problem and i was seeking validation from other people and it was just a mess until i decided to put jesus first so literally ladies all i'm telling you is put god first and he will give you those friends he will give you that relationship he will give that life that you always dreamed of because he one thing i always say especially from this last video if you watch it he will never show you a lifestyle and not give it to you work hard he will supply your need put god first and what you do i'm telling you please do we just need to detach the opinions learn that number one these opinions don't make or break me when you realize that the people who are projecting these insecurities on you have insecurities on their own they don't like their lives or they wish they could be you and are bringing you down or they're just negative spirit we don't need to be around those spirits. We need to be around uplifting, positive spirits. And I'm telling you, there are enough people in the world for you to get a new circle, for you to socialize and just be happy and network and be social and develop your own family. Like There are so many people in this world that you do not have to deal with anything you do not want to deal with. When they are saying negative things, people talk against themselves and what when they're saying like i don't like that i don't like that i don't like that or they're talking about you they're actually talking about themselves and a lot of people out here do not like themselves surprisingly you think they do but they do not like themselves and they want to spread that energy on you mm -mm -mm. we are going to use social media smart i want you to follow all them girls that are not trying to help you self-improve that are just giving that are putting you on the route to lusting and putting you on the route to fornication and putting you on the route that's not good for your long-term being i want you to delete those instagram girls nine times ten those people that you follow those girls that you follow they don't even know you but if they're not there to help you or give you an idea for self-care or just help you with your makeup or just if they're not there to help you give you information or knowledge you shouldn't even be following them we're not following people who make us feel bad we're not following people who you know so we can do this comparison thing in our mind absolutely not the affirmations when i tell you they do wonder i listen to affirmations when i go to sleep for my subconscious that are like you are so pretty you are so effortless when you wake up you are so happy you are so you are full of energy you do not let any situation that happen outside of you affect you affect your day and i just love that because when you it's a difference between waking up and listening to affirmation and writing it down but going to sleep the affirmation is next level girls i want you to try that i'm gonna link the affirmations that i listen to yeah i'm gonna link, link the one that i that i listen to constantly affirmations have helped my confidence journey and self self-esteem journey has helped me so much so much so much and i know for sure it will help you so much just telling yourself i love you in the mirror is not enough you need to practice practice affirmations 30 days plus and from then there you'll be programming your mind so you'll always be thinking i'm so pretty i look good in this outfit i look good in this color i look good in all colors oh my god my skin is so soft my skin is so clear we're gonna tell ourselves all these things even when we're asleep. And it's just so crucial and so important. 
Be authentic. Who are you? Be authentic. Stop conforming to what the world wants you to conform to. Just because every girl is showing less, using their body as a way to get attention, you do not have to do that. To get attention. So stop trying to blend in to what the culture wants you to blend in to. Forget the culture. Forget what's normal. Forget any of that. Who do you want to be? Who do you see or who's your higher self? What do you, do you see that person? Who's that person? Who are they? Are they like everybody else? Are they like every other Instagram model? Are they like every other person who's in that same lane? Or are they different? Do they talk about real things? Do they help people for real, for real? Are they changing lives? Who are you? Be authentic. Be authentic. Discover what's your identity and what do you want to do with it? And I'm going to leave it on that note. Being authentic has helped me in so many ways. And I know it can help you as much. This is something, this is a question to really ponder on. Please let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. If you're new here, hey girl, hey, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe. I have more videos like this on the way. And if you're not new, hey girl, thanks so much for sticking with me and just self-developing and just getting a new perspective on your conscious and on your mind i'm gonna catch you girls in the next video thank you so much for watching i love you girls bye